In this video, we're going to take a look at the brand new iPhone 14 and walk through the steps of transferring all your data from an old iPhone to the new one. Before we begin, make sure that your old iPhone has enough battery, or better yet, you have the ability to plug it into a power source. Before setting up the new iPhone, we're going to make a backup of the device to your cloud. To do this, open the Settings app. Once inside of here, tap your name at the top, iCloud, and then iCloud Backup. When you're ready, tap Backup Now to start a backup to your iCloud account. This may take a few minutes depending on your space used and your internet speed. Once that's finished backing up, we can begin to set up our new device. Go ahead and remove your iPhone from the packaging, and when you're ready, turn it on by pressing and holding the power button on the right of the phone. Once the device powers up, you'll see the Hello screen. Swipe up to begin, and then choose your language. Next, select your country or region. Now you'll be at the Quick Start screen, which begins the transfer of your old phone to the new. Place your old iPhone next to the new one and then tap the screen to wake it up. You'll automatically see the Set Up New iPhone pop-up window. Tap Unlock to continue. It will then connect the phones together and give you an authentication image. Take your old iPhone and position the camera over the new phone's image. It will then authenticate and start the process. If you have multiple people that may be using the new phone, choose who you're setting it up for and then tap continue. Enter the passcode of your old iPhone onto the new one. It will then begin to activate your new device. On the next screen, confirm that it's the correct phone number and then hit continue. Enter your zip code to confirm your identity and then tap continue again. It'll then activate your eSIM and then complete the cellular setup. Tap continue and on the next screen you can set up Face ID. You can set this up now if you want, but I'll select set up later. We're now at the transferring part. You could download from the iCloud, but since we have both phones here, we'll just transfer directly. Select transfer from iPhone. Note here the time that it says it'll take. Mine took about an hour. The next screen is the terms and conditions. Tap agree on the bottom. To keep everything exactly the same, confirm what you'd like to transfer and then tap continue on the bottom. You could customize what you'd like to bring over also by choosing Customize. If you use Apple Wallet with any cash balances or credit cards, set these up next. Next is the info for a new feature in iOS 16 and new iPhones, Emergency SOS. It goes over the SOS emergency calls along with crash detection. When you're ready, tap Continue. It will then begin transferring all your data to the new device. This is the part that could take a while though, so make sure you either have battery or power source available. Once it's finished, swipe up on your new iPhone to continue and then enter your passcode. Give it a minute to update and when it's finished, swipe up and open your new iPhone. Your old iPhone will then confirm that the transfer is complete. Tap continue. If you need to delete the old iPhone right away, tap continue on the erase this iPhone screen. But if you can, and what I try to do, is keep both phones for a few days just to confirm that everything saved over correctly. This will save you, for instance, if you use Google or Microsoft Authenticator apps. You'll need both phones to move the data from one to the other. So for now, we'll just select Not Now and power off and set the old one to the side. Now that our new iPhone is set up and ready to go, give it a bit to download and update any apps it needs to do, and you'll be good to go. You can test and confirm your cellular connection by swiping down from the top right and turning off Wi-Fi if it's turned on and making sure that everything looks good there. If you notice anything going on with your iPhone's screen brightness dimming and not coming up, you may need to do a quick restart. This is what fixed it here in my case. Press and hold the button on the right and then either volume button on the left until the power screen appears. Slide the slider at the top to power off the device. Give it a second and then press and hold the power button again to power back up. Once you unlock your phone, swipe down to get to control center and you can increase the screen brightness again. And that's how you set up and transfer your old iPhone to the new iPhone 14.